Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. As the title of this vlog says, yes, we have sold our caravan. It's not clickbait, it's not to draw you in, we've sold our Adria. This is going to be a big shock to a lot of you, it's a bit of a shock to us and uh, we've had to put some thought into it. So but it's time to move on. Yes. This is what we've been thinking. We've had a long time to think over the lockdown period uh, and we've been sat pondering what we're going to do for the future. So here it is. This is what we're looking at. Yeah. So so what's happened? What's led us to make this decision? And what's going to be happening next as we go forward? If you're not interested, then don't worry. You don't have to stay and watch anymore. But uh, what has happened? Well, March, um, obviously, coronavirus kicked in. We went into lockdown and we had quite a lot of plans, didn't we, really, for 2020? Um, a lot of plans. A lot of things upcoming. And suddenly that all just, just came to a massive halt. Um, and that included obviously our work, our touring. Um, we were meant to be going to the Tokar Award testing, which we were really excited about. We were going to Slovenia. We were doing all sorts. And like you guys as well at home, it all just came to an end. We appreciate this, you know, this has had a massive effect on everybody. This isn't just us, but this is our story. So. Yeah. This is, this is why we've sort of come to where we're at at the moment. So we uh, we were at home, like you guys were as well, um, and the Adria was back in storage. And we started thinking about, first of all, the future, really, of... Um, obviously, if something like this happened again, the impact that it could have on the leisure industry uh, and on our work as well. Um, we found that we then threw ourselves into the bingo and the lives which was, was really enjoyable, to be fair. And we really appreciated that everybody got involved in that as well, because I think it kept us all going, to be honest. Um, so thank you for that, guys. But one of the things we did find was also that, um, well, Jules, in the end, has gone back to work, haven't you, as well? Um, he's, do you want to say any more about that, Jules? No, no i just got a little part-time job just to keep us going over. Because obviously, as you may or may not know, uh, we were sort of living off our savings and, and doing bits with that. So we were we were losing more um, yeah. than we were actually just managing to, to tread water with. Yeah. So so it's a decision that, again, has come mm. with everything that's been thrust upon everybody. Um, and I wanted to do my bit as well and help out. So, so that's what we ended up doing. Yeah, so Jules has gone back doing a few hours. Um, and we started thinking about what was going to be happening, because as we know, uh, 4th of July, we we're, were able to get back out, most of us, certainly in England, Scotland's opening up and then hopefully Wales. So uh, we thought, right, brilliant, we can get back out. But we know that we have got some content upcoming with a motorhome. So it meant that the Adria was going to be in storage even longer, which would have then probably taken us really till the start of November. Um, and then we're heading into winter, which, again, we don't know what's going to happen in winter, whether things are going to go downhill or whether they're going to keep on sort of improving for us so and at the time of filming this there's still the uncertainty we know that the Dusseldorf caravan salon uh, has looked to go back a week but there's all the questions around the NEC show be it October be it February and um, we, we don't know what is going to happen yeah. yet so no. there's, there's a lot that we're having to sort of yeah. try and predict and try and work out for the so best so we did think our poor adria would be sat here in storage really could be until sort of november december and that's a shame because this caravan and i smile when i talk about it this caravan is amazing um and i think other families could be getting some benefit out of this because right now the demand for caravans and motorhomes and camper vans and tents is through the roof because people want to go on the staycation so for, for the reason of it being storage for a long time, financially we could do with getting the money back right now on the caravan because we do own it outright. Um, so we decided that it is probably best to sell it. Some of you will think that's a daft idea because we'll have lost money. Some of you will think there's nothing wrong with it. You know, we're taking a risk. For us right now, personally, it's the right decision for us. And also going forward, we don't know whether caravanning will be right for us. And I'll come to that in a minute. Um, so that decision has been made. We, as of Monday, the caravan will be gone. So that's two days. We've just come down today to empty it out. Um, and I'm sure somebody else would be very happy with it. What I will say, if you are thinking of, of buying a caravan at the moment, I can but not recommend so much Adria. Adria is 
our experience has been amazing. Other people, they'll have their own experiences. For us, we've had the caravan two years. We've had one issue, and that was at Christmas, we had an electrical problem with an mm -hmm. RCD. We had to replace the RCD, um, which was a, a wiring within the... I'm not technical. The wiring within it wasn't right, and it needed replacing. But bear in mind how much use it had, I'm not surprised. And that really has been the only problem in two years. And you all know how much we have towed, how how much time we've spent in this caravan, and it is still immaculate. I mean, I can, you it's know, it's there's still nothing like brand new. It looks brand it new. It, two years of absolute. I won't, I won't say full time use because we we haven't been full time. You know, we, we've always had a home, but it literally has had more use than probably any caravan I've ever we've seen. We've used it, but we've also looked after it. We've looked it. after it. So we, we've always made sure yeah. that everything's clean. You know, there's no leaks. Fudge hasn't or anything been like in. That. We so. haven't. Yeah. We've yeah. always maintained it as yeah. best we can, and luckily, it's it's still yeah. it's extremely well as new. well built. So I can say, you know, if you are considering buying a caravan or an Adria, one hundred percent. And if we were to buy another caravan in the future, then it would be the manufacturer that I'd go to first to replace it. To be absolutely honest with you, um, so that leads us on to what is going to happen next. Um, so this goes on Monday. I will be sad to see it go. My mum bought us this caravan, so it does mean a lot to us. So this is a big decision to make, yeah, um, you know, to be absolutely uh, honest. But unfortunately, your head has to rule your heart sometimes, and that's the decision we're making. So I will be very sad to see the Adria go, but, uh, you know, it's a decision we've had to make. And it's even um, harder after coming today, because as soon as we opened the door, came in and sat in it, it's like... Yeah, it our little feels like we're home. Our little home, yeah. But, but uh, so yeah. so what's coming up next? Well, this is um there is some exciting stuff coming up. Um we intend on the twentieth of July, which is a Monday, we're heading over to Suffolk for the day. We're going to Adria. They're having their launch of the twenty twenty one models, caravans and motorhomes. I believe there's gonna be about fifteen on display. There's a totally new Adora range. Now we've got the Adora Isonzo. The Adora range is completely revamped outside and inside. I've seen some sneaky photos. It looks amazing. Um, if I was going to get a caravan again in the future, then that would certainly be on the cards, uh, probably at the top of the deck. There's also some new motorhomes. Um, I think that's on the Matrix and the Coral, but I'm not entirely sure. So we're going to find out. We've got a morning slot. Because of social distancing, we have to book in, and we've only got a limited amount of time at that launch. So we're hoping... We're going to be able to do a live in the morning of hopefully caravans and then hopefully a little bit later that morning motorhomes because we get a time with each. The reviews, we will be doing reviews, but it might be more in our Dusseldorf style, which was more filming around them and doing and talking as we go because we're going to be really limited on time to see all these models. So it might not be our usual style where, where I sort of stand and we go through it together. And what um, we have learned as well from Dusseldorf is... No matter how much we tried to throw out to get the content, everybody was always saying, oh, can you just have a look at this? Or could you just have a look at that? So even though we, we tried to split up and do as much as we could, it didn't cater for everybody because mm. people always wanted something else. So we're going we're we'll to try and best. get as much as yep. we can uh, so that you can yep. see exactly what we've got. And then, so that'll be Monday morning to lunch. And then we're going to uh, head up towards Yorkshire and see my dad. Now, obviously, I haven't seen my dad since uh, January, so call in on him. And then on the Wednesday, the 22nd, we're going to Coachman, uh, Coachman up at Hull. We've been invited to their press re uh, press launch. They've got 2021 caravans as well. So, again, if you're looking at new caravans, these manufacturers are going to have new product out there. So we're looking forward to that. I believe there's some new models. I don't know any more than that until I get there. It starts in the afternoon. I think there's going to be quite a lot of people there because it's literally all the press in the afternoon as opposed to slots. So whether we'll be able to do a live at Coachman, I don't know. Whether we'll be able to do any reviews directly while we're there, I don't know. But we'll certainly get something out for you. Um, hopefully that day, if not, it will be the next day, um, even if it's just sort of photos or something on our Facebook page. Um, we have been doing more on our Facebook page because it's it's easier to put content on there. Um, so do uh, drop in on that. That's obviously here we tow. So those are the launches. And then we're going to go home. And on the, the week after, that's when we start our motorhome content. 
now this is this is something we're really excited about aren't we um we're collecting um an adria motorhome it's a small compact motorhome which will be excellent for down here where we are in the southwest we're collecting it and we've got it for three months all being well we we're going from there we're having a week in suffolk with some friends we're actually going to start with a bit of a proper holiday because we haven't actually had a holiday for a long time although people think we're on a permanent holiday it's not you know you're always talking at the camera and and editing and blogging and writing and for taking photos well, this and is doing what we social love doing media. and that's why we bring so, it to you yeah but so we're not on a holiday whereas that week's gonna be a holiday and then the, we're going to create the motorhome content and what we're wanting to know is obviously the comparison between the caravan and the motorhome because we've not been able to do that for you as yet so that will enable us to do that and we think that the motorhome at this moment in time will suit our needs better because mm. obviously with traveling and trying to get sort of like go into these different places it'll give us a, a little base that we can obviously go and try and get these videos out to you uh, as expeditiously as we can uh, and also we, you know we can use that and use it as an experience because we've never motorhomed so mm. we can go from the caravan to the motorhome and give you a genuine what we find yeah. how it works for us um and we'll be and, new to it again yeah and do that comparison which is is always useful to hear because nobody wants to spend a lot of money and then work out they've got it totally wrong so that will be take us up to the end of october and after that i don't know um what we'll do we'll wait and see um obviously how how things are uh, with the industry and, and with coronavirus and then we'll make a decision um and that'll be based our decision then will be based on financial uh, implications and and just whether we see anything that we're interested in so we're just going to see you know you can't plan too far ahead as we've all discovered so that's what we're going to do um the october show nothing's been um decided uh, publicly by the ncc as yet i would say the likelihood of the show going ahead is probably rather remote i don't know we'll have to just wait and see won't we um what i will say though is if the show doesn't go ahead um we've still got a booking at summer's wood as many of you will have um for, that we're going to go to the nec so we'll probably do a small meet up at summer's wood if the show doesn't go ahead but i'll um but again I'll this is updated. all subject to change because obviously we're just trying we to know. sort of roll with, with yeah. what we've got, which is yep. not which a is lot. Which is not a lot, <laughs> as usual. But no, so that's where we're at the moment. So the, the Adria, it is goodbye from Monday, but it's Hello Motorhome for three months. And then from then, who knows what Hello it could be. But we will make sure that, obviously, we keep you updated and that you come along with us and make those decisions as we make them and, and see what influences what we do. So I think that's about it, really. So. Yeah. Everybody, if you're going out on the 4th of July or just after, have a great time wherever you're going, whatever you're doing. Obviously, stay safe. We won't be out until... Hopefully, you'll be enjoying this lovely weather that we're getting yeah, just at this moment. It's been red hot. Today's a little bit more of a cast, but it's been cracking weather. So, hopefully, we'll have a great summer. I say we're going to be out. We've got various trips planned um, all over the UK, um, or certainly more down here in the southwest, maybe into Wales. I'm planning on... Uh, heading towards blackpool illuminations as See, well you're so. learning at the same time oh, yeah. as me yet again i have no idea so. yeah so uh, so hopefully yeah, october time we'll head a bit further north so it's all going on but we'll keep you updated and i hope you do enjoy the motorhome content that we do i'm sure it'll be interesting for some of you that are a bit on the fence about what to do you'll see what it's like to go motorhoming for the first time because that's what we're doing um and other than that yeah then we'll we'll get back into some more reviews of the new 2021 models see what else comes up this is our last goodbye from the adria um which is quite sad really after two years and all the vlogs that this caravan's featured in um it's goodbye from it and i hope whoever ends up with it um gets as much out of it as we have i'm sure they will yeah so as always thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching and see, see you in, in the, the next, next one. one bye guys about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited